We're not doing it, but we're gonna hang out because I like you. So just, you know, I'm a lady. I'm not gonna do it with you. Oh, not okay. Gonna, no, but I do like you, and I have fun. I have so much fun, but we're not gonna do anything. Okay, for sure. All right, get in. Well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? I had a friend who commented on my one of my posts here. And uh, asked me if I ever voted Democrat. And honestly, I never voted Democrat. What? I never voted Democrat. I remember why, the reason why my first vote in 1992 was against Bill Clinton. Um, during the high school, I read the autobiography of Malcolm X. And I was all into Malcolm X at the time. You know, anything that was popping up on PBS, any interviews. You know, old interviews, I was just observing a lot of Malcolm X um, theology. And there was one clip that stuck to my mind to this day. There are many whites who are trying to solve the problem, but you never see them going under the label of liberals. That, that white person that you see calling himself a liberal is the most dangerous thing in the entire Western Hemisphere. He's the most deceitful. He's like a fox. And a fox is almost is always more dangerous in the forest than the wolf. You can see the wolf coming. You know what he's up to. But the fox will fool you. He comes at you with his mouth shaped in such a way that even though you see his teeth, you think he's smiling. You take him for so even after I seen that video at an early age, I knew to stay away from liberalism and liberals, white liberals. Man, they are the ones that will set you up, guys. These are the ones that will have you marching and protesting, catching bullets. While they way in the back, sneaking and laughing at your tragic downfall, and they pushing their agenda. Okay, they're using us for uh, human shields, using us our plights, our civil rights, and then as they doing that, they pushing gender wars and 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 transgenderism and all that. So they are the ones that are tearing this country apart. So again, I stay away from liberal people and I advise a lot of young black men to stay away from liberal people. Especially the ones that have the Black Lives Matter posters at their house. No. Yeah, those white liberals, you got to stay away from. The ones that are walking around talking about defund the police, they're setting us up. They living way up top of the hill over here. They got their own security guards, but they're telling us to defund the police. Meanwhile, we are killing, shooting each other, and they way on top of the hill laughing and giggling as they push the agenda further and further. But now, I love it when they start eating each other up. Okay, we have Denver. Denver is a proud sanctuary city. They love to, pra they love to parade that they're a sanctuary city. No problems. So now, Texas is booking buses and shipping them over there. And they got an immigration problem right now. So they got to pay for it. And they are laying off a lot of employees. Well, not laying off employees. They are reducing their hours to zero. Let's take a listen to this clip. The city of Denver does not want headlines that it's laying off employees in order to pay for the migrant crisis. But the city is telling hourly employees that they may have their hours reduced to zero. Just don't call them layoffs. Here's Mark Salinger. When we got a tip that employees at this rec center were being told they no longer had jobs, we asked the city if there were new layoffs that hadn't been announced yet. Can you confirm if this is accurate? I asked the mayor's office and parks and rec department. Their answer was meant to assure us that we were wrong. No layoffs, they said. 
However, some employees may have their hours reduced to the point where they may not receive any hours. They're not calling it layoffs, but it definitely sounds like some people may not have jobs anymore. These direct impacts today on DMV do not involve layoffs, nor do Parks and Rec involve layoffs of our current employees. We will have folks that are hourly workers that will have fewer hours. When Mayor Mike Johnson announced earlier this month that the city would cut budgets, he warned hourly employees would lose some work. Now we know they could lose all their work. I don't want to hide the fact that this matters a lot to those people that are on the front lines. The Parks and Rec Department tells us everyone from front desk workers to coaches to lifeguards are considered on-call employees that could be impacted by these cuts. The department has been told to cut $4.3 million to help the city pay for the migrant crisis. <laughs> it's not a layoff. They're just reducing your hours to zero. Yeah, make that make sense. Well, it's your problem now. I don't give a <laughs> anyway, if you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you liberals, get off my lawn. <laughs>